Hey guys, here we are at the end of another month. Happens to be the end of another year and the end of another decade. So, a couple of things to talk about tonight. One is our adventure into audio podcasts. We're going to start to give you guys the option of podcasting, listening to audio podcasts of, of the Japan Channel stuff. Um, another one is we're going to give someone else, uh, another person, uh, some Japanese snacks. Another one is we're going to send a book to somebody. And another one is oh, explaining why you're not being subjected to ads on our videos at the moment. Some of you are really enjoying that, being able to watch a video without having to constantly get rid of the ads that pop up. So, first one, the podcast thing. We've actually had people occasionally over the last 10 years suggest that we do podcasts that they could listen to. And we sort of always discounted it because we try to give you stuff that's good to look at. So rather than just have a voice talking about stuff, which we never think is really interesting, um, or sitting in a room talking to you, we always tried to give you some sort of imagery, something interesting to look at. So even if the, the audio content isn't real interesting, we figured that someone would be interested in the video content, you know, watch, watching the scenery go past. He says in a dark car at night. <laughs> but you know, you know what we mean. So, so we sort of avoided the podcast thing. And then a couple of the patrons over the last few months, a couple of the patrons suggested it again. And then, okay, just curious, posted just one question on Facebook, just because it's an easy way to get feedback from you guys now. So, just posted a question on Facebook, you know, would anybody be interested in listening to, to podcasts? And 2,000 people um, either clicked the like button or left a comment and said, yeah. So, um, oh, just incidentally too, there, was, there were also a few people who said that they much prefer to watch the videos and and that they don't want that to stop and and absolutely I mean the reason our a lot of our patrons have said the same thing and the reason they support our channel is because they want us to continue making videos just like we've been doing so just want to clarify right from the start that's not going to change that's not going to change at all um, everything that we do with the, as far as the videos is concerned is going to stay the same um, the only difference would be is that is that when we get one of those Something where the image is not important. So obviously if we're showing you an interesting vending machine, that's not going to make a good audio podcast. But, but, but some of the people pointed out that, that some of those long videos made in the car talking about different topics, where watching the scenery go past is, is not really important to the story. Um, some people have said that they're just too busy to sit and watch a 25 minute video. But if they had a podcast that they could listen to it in the car on the way to work or they could on the train or or you know while they're exercising or cooking or there's all sorts of people gave all sorts of examples it turned out thinking about podcasting right around we always because we don't listen to them ourselves we don't listen to podcasts ourselves we much prefer when we watch videos we like um documentary style videos where you're actually watching, you know, interesting things with a good narration. That's what we enjoy watching, which is always what we sort of tried to aim for in our videos, is because is they're the sort of things we like to watch. Um, you know, we don't like this person sitting in a room talking on an oversized microphone type stuff because we think it's boring. Um, but we hadn't thought about this, that other people's lives are different to ours and that, and that you know, they, they travel by train, they travel by car, they ride bicycles, they all the examples that people gave us. It was quite amazing. We were quite surprised. Fully expected that a couple of people might say, yeah, podcasts would be all right. But the enthusiastic response and all the examples that people gave of how they, or where, where and when they would listen to them was really interesting as well. So, so great. So we did an experiment. We put one on SoundCloud and some people listened to it and said, yeah, that's the sort of thing. And, and one guy pointed out, not too big. That's way too big. We went for a, we're trying to get a high quality, highest quality uh, download. Um, and he said, no, no, too big, too big. Just do an MP3. So we did an MP3. So if you're interested in checking out our experiment, we did a couple of experiments. What, what our thinking is, we'll just make our, our videos like we normally do. But when we get a video that is 
is like an in the car type one where you don't need to see the image to understand the story. Um, you know the sort of videos, you guys that watch us all the time will, will know the sort of videos we're talking about. Um, we'll rip a couple of those. One of them recently was about, uh, was a myth one about the ladies being forced to wear high heels and another one was, uh, you know, the sort of videos we're talking about. What we'll do is we'll po post the video like we normally do so all the people that like to watch the video can watch it and then we'll just rip the audio off it and turn it into an mp3 and we'll put it on on a, on a podcast so that so that people that want to either listen to it stream it or download it and listen to it later can do that so we're actually we'll tell you more details about it later on but um Another thing that prompted this is we had been contacted recently by some, some pretty switched on dudes in Switzerland that are starting their own podcast website and they're pretty good. Um, and we've sort of, to be honest, we've sort of had a bit of enough of the American companies because with their rules and regulations and things, we're just finding the European companies are easier to deal with. You know, we've posted the same videos on Daily Motion, which is a French owned company as we've posted on YouTube and haven't had any of the dramas with them that we've had on YouTube. So so the idea of, of dealing with a, another company in in uh, Europe instead of dealing with another American company is quite appealing actually, because it just seems the American ones just have so many rules and regulations and they're big, big and impersonal too much of the big ones. These guys are just a, a small and you know, we exchanged some emails and actually got real names from them. So. In the meantime, what we'll do is we put a couple of experiments on SoundCloud, okay? Um, and we, we'll put a link in the description of this video. So if you want to check out the experiment um, and give us some feedback on it, the SoundCloud, SoundCloud link will be in the description of this video. And then as the next, as towards the end of January, um, we might experiment with this new podcast website and let you know what's going on there and try that out. Um, and obviously, it's going to come down to how many people actually do listen to it because a lot of people said they would. And if the number of people that said they would really do, then then we'd be quite happy to continue doing that. Because, um, you know, if, if that keeps people happy and gives people another another way to listen to what we do, then, then that's fine too. So that's the podcast story. So yeah, the important points were the videos won't change. Our main priority is still to make videos. Um, that's what we want to do, but it's also um, what our, our patrons have told us they want us to do. That most of them are supporting us on Patreon because they want us to continue making videos just like we are. So they don't want that to change. Interesting lighting on that truck over there. Um, so that's that. That's the first part. The next one is um, Freedom Japanese Market. You know those guys, other guys that sell um, boxes of uh, Japanese snacks um, online. So they um, offered us another box to give to you guys. So we'll do what we always do. We'll do what we've been doing recently is if you go to our English friendly Japan. Now, every time we do this, a couple of people get lost and say, where are we supposed to go? So Facebook, go to Facebook and then our English friendly Japan Facebook page. And then on that Facebook page, you will see a box of snacks, okay? There'll be a post that shows a box of snacks. If you leave a comment underneath that box of snacks, you will have a chance of getting us, uh, getting a box of snacks sent to you anywhere in the world, okay? So we've been doing this about once a month. Those of you who haven't known, heard about this, about once a month we do this. Um, the two-year-old, we scroll down the page, the two-year-old tells us to stop. Some random person, um, then get sent. We, we give the random person's name and address to the guys at Freedom Japanese Market and they send you a box of snacks. So again, if you're wanting to buy some snacks from Japan, you can buy just one box from them where you can subscribe and pay um, every month for a subscription and they'll send you a random box every month of all sorts of different stuff. And they're pretty good. They find all the latest crazes and all the interesting things and new flavors and different things and give you an interesting variety of, of stuff um, and again great guys to deal with if you just want to if you're not waiting to see, see if you win this and you just want to buy some snacks from Japan they're definitely the people Freedom Japanese Market there'll be a link in the description underneath this video as well for those guys um, if you want to check out their website and see what they've got going and how much it is and all that sort of thing 
you can totally trust those guys. They're absolutely excellent to deal with it, to deal with. We've been using them ourselves for years and we've been recommending them for years and everything we've heard back has all been positive and good. So you can, you can deal with them with confidence. Um, next one is um, our Patreon uh, rewards. It's not a giveaway, not a random giveaway, because that would break some laws in the United States. So we wouldn't do that. Um, it's not a random giveaway. It's a reward uh, for someone on Patreon. Um, is Actually, just to clarify, the Facebook candy thing or snack thing is random because there's no law against doing that on Facebook. Um, we're not allowed to do random giveaways on Patreon. They told us we were, we were doing it, and they told us to stop it because they said it was breaking the law in some states of the USA, right? Again, again, the American laws and rules and regulations. Um, so, uh, we can't do the random giveaway on Patreon anymore, but it's rewards. It's a reward, everybody that's in a certain tier on Patreon gets a, a copy of our, a signed copy of our book, How to Do Stuff in Japan. So, again, if you haven't checked our book out, it's got all, all sorts of interesting things on How to Do Stuff in Japan. So, all the stuff that's on our How to Do Stuff in Japan playlist, but also lots of other stuff that goes down better in a book than does in a video. So, if you haven't checked that out yet, check that out. Um, there's links on every video to the, to the book somewhere. Um, and if you are coming to Japan, we recommend reading that first. If you know someone that's going to Japan, you might want to give it to them. Or if, um, if you're just interested in, in Japan, you might want to have a look at it. Or if you just like books, um, you might be into that. So there's the paper book, and there's also the e-book form if you want to save the trees and, and be more environmentally friendly. And save a few dollars, because the e-book is like 10 bucks. So it's, um, it's cheap. So there's that. And the other one was, oh, um, the ads. Why is there, why has there been no ads on our videos lately? And it's because of our patrons. You can thank our patrons for that. Um, our lower goal on Patreon, we promised that if our lower goal was being reached, that, 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 that while it was being reached, every new video that we posted would have the ads turned off, um, which has been quite satisfying. <laughs> to do that um, because you know nothing more annoying and you have to keep clicking on those pop-up ads and getting rid of them and, and or sitting through the ones at the beginning of the video so it's been quite satisfying to turn those off for you um, on all the new videos that have been posted um, now if we can reach our next goal on patreon um, uh, the, the goal the next goal on patreon if we can reach that um, we'll turn the ads off on all our videos because there is a magic button that we can use um, in our settings that turns off monetization on every video, um, which would mean those of you who go back through videos and watch watch playlists and things like that wouldn't have any video, any uh, ads to watch at all. So, um, so there's that. Um, so again, if those of you who, who are on Patreon um, who want us to keep doing what we're doing and like what we're doing, want us to keep doing it. Um, if you're already on Patreon and you want to step up the support a little bit, that'd be great. Um, we appreciate all the support, um, but obviously the more the better, because it helps us justify the time that we're spending on all this stuff. Um, if we take on the podcast thing, it's going to add another another level, but we're happy to do it because, you know, it's what you guys want us to do. But the support that we get from the patrons is what allows us to do it, because as we keep repeating, because we keep repeating this because it's really important, that logistically and just the practicality is that we need we need to pay the bills and we've got a family to support, which means that if we didn't have the support on Patreon, we'd have to spend more time at work. And if we spent more time at work, we wouldn't have time to do the videos and everything else that we do. So the way we see it is we love making the videos and we love taking photos and posting them on Facebook and all the other Japan stuff that we do. We love doing it, but we just wouldn't be able to do it if we if we didn't have the support on Patreon. We have to really treat it, even though it's, it's we love doing it, we have to treat it like a part-time job, really. And the, the support on Patreon allows us to do that. So if you're on Patreon and you can afford to step up a little bit, that'd be great. If you, you're not supporting us on Patreon yet, then please consider having a look at our Patreon page and seeing what it's about. And 
consider supporting us on there to allow us to keep doing what we're doing. If you're enjoying the videos and the photos and, and if you think you might enjoy the podcasts, please support us. And please check the podcasts out. We'll make sure we leave a link underneath this video. Check, us out, check it out. Give us some feedback, what you think of that. Um, again, the only places you can give us feedback is on Patreon and on Facebook. So, and you know why. We're not getting into it. <laughs> anyway, there it was. So, almost at the dojo. Dojo time. More videos coming soon. <laughs>